This is a Quickie P222 SC power chair. <coughs> this is a power chair for an active person. This is a fast power chair. It's torquey. I mean, it's like a it's like a sports car, like a Ferrari. This chair will go eight and a half miles an hour. It'll pop wheelies, and you'll you'll see it when I do the videos. The front wheels, it's got so much power. If you have it on fast, it'll pop wheelies in the front. That's why you have those anti-tip wheels in the back here. Keep it from flipping over. I'm not trying to scare you, but this is not a chair for someone who needs a slow chair. This is for outside. You can use it inside. This power chair was used for about six months. It's like new condition. As I said, it does go eight and a half miles an hour. It's got the heavy, heavy duty motors. It's got the quickie motors with four brushes. These are the best motors they ever made. They use these motors and several of the chairs to go eight and a half miles an hour. It has eight inch caster wheels in front. You have 12 inch knobby tire. You can see how well they are. They're not that, there's no wear to speak of on these tires right here. You've got anchor points here, here. So if you need to tie the chair to a lift, you would just hook up here on these, this one and this one, it would lift up straight up. You've got two on each side. You've got anti-tip wheels in the back over here. And if you ever have to put this chair in neutral, right now it's in gear, there's two levers over here. If you pull these levers out like this, the chair is in neutral. See how easy that is? That's your neutral. You have one on each side right here, one here. And that puts the motors back in gear. Okay, this chair has a great suspension. It also has what is called a electric tilt on this chair. So to work the tilt in this chair, you would hit the button down one more time over here until, actually, let me do it this way. You would hit the button up until it starts flashing. Another time until you get to the red on the seat right here. When it's red, pull the joystick back. Actually go forward. Some of them is back, some of them, this one's forward. So go forward and you can see the tilt. This is the electric tilt going back. And this is, um, you can see how quiet that is. This is a full electric tilt right there. So this is your electric tilt. I'm going to bring it back down. And um, these arms on this chair are adjustable. So if you wanted to take the arm out, you can take the whole arm out just like this. If you needed to transfer from the side, they don't flip up, they just pull out. The joystick is on the right. We can transfer the joystick to the left with no problem at all. I'm going to put it back into drive. I'm going to turn this chair around. You've got, you've got legs right here that are, they do slip out of the way so we want to exit. And they do come back this way. So these are your, and they're adjustable in length also. The seat is 16 inches wide, it's a robo cushion, it's a $300 cushion, it's an air cushion. It'll come with a pump so you can pump the firmness of the air in your cushion. It's 16 wide by 18 deep. I cannot change the seat on this chair, so if you're buying this chair, make sure that 16 inches by 18 inches deep is good for you. And make sure this back works for you, it's a contoured back, it's not a big back. Uh, it would probably work for me. Uh, because my back is not any wider than this. It looks narrow, but that's all you need really technically. So this is a custom back with a small headrest. You do have a safety belt. And this is your turning radius. So when you're turning in a circle, that's what you're looking at. And back here you've got push bars, grab bars. If you need to push the chair around, you can push it with these grab bars. Now the nice thing about this chair, it takes large batteries. It takes the 75 amp batteries. This 75 amp group 24 batteries it takes two of them. And the batteries on this chair, when you want to change them, you have to take the seat off the chair by lifting these two handles right here. There's one here and one here. If you lift these handles up, the whole base will stay here and the seating will go forward off the chair. Okay? So this is your, your seating system there. There's two batteries in there, they come out from the cover, take this cover off, and they're in there. They're 75 amp batteries. You'll get about 15 to 20 miles on a battery charge, even more. It all depends the weight of the user, where you're driving the chair, if it's going to be in dirt or grass. And this chair will go everywhere, as you will see in the video. When you charge this chair, take your charger, plug it into the bottom of the joystick, as soon as the light turns green on your charger, you're fully charged. You don't have to worry about overcharging the batteries. As soon as the charger recognizes the batteries are full, 
it'll stop charging. So this is a really fast power chair, eight and a half miles an hour, lots of power. It'll go through almost anything in the grass, gravel. It's just got, you'll see it outside when I go out. Uh, and it has the electric tilt. So remember, this one has the electric tilt only. And we do not, I'm not sizing the seat on this one. This one would have to be bought with this size seat, which is 16 by 18 deep with this cushion. So you, if you look at me, I'm 180 pounds, six foot tall. So when I drive the chair, it should be already set up for me just about. That'll give you an idea what you're, what you're looking at. And it's ready to go. That's what eight and a half miles an hour looks like. You can see, you can see if I take off really fast, watch the front wheel. So if you're looking for a fast chair, eight and a half miles an hour with electric tilt, super amount of power, in fantastic condition, I would definitely look at this one. This is Mark with Mark's Mobility. We are a family owned business for over 20 years. Thank you for watching this presentation. We have several other models available. If you have any questions, please call the number below, 800-677-6293. Thank you again for watching.